Hi Freunde auf YouTube, ich bin euer Odo. Wir haben das letzte Mal den Staglord besiegt und jetzt sind wir dabei, äh, unser Königreich für uns zu kriegen. Bevor wir das aber machen, gehen wir nochmal schlafen, würde ich fast sagen. See. Okay. Im Hintergrund hört man meinen Sohn fluchen und schreien. Auch nicht schlecht. So. Oleg. Rest of the weights. I plan to set off right away. The fog seems to be thinning, but we should wait until it burns off completely. In the meantime, I'll gather some supplies for your journey to make sure you can enjoy your trip back to Restov. Okay. Ich habe keine Ahnung, inwieweit es Sinn macht, möglichst schnell dorthin zu kommen, weil, ähm, weil irgendwelche Events vielleicht nach der Zeit kommen oder kommen Events erst, wenn du gewisse Dinge gemacht hast. Also einige Sachen werden getriggert und einige kommen aber nach Zeit. Aber ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob die Zeit Zeitdämmung oh, erst jetzt ab dem zweiten Kapitel startet. Entschuldigung, ich bin gerade aus dem, aus dem Theater gekommen. Good work. Nice to see I haven't lost my intuition for people. Not many would have managed to set out to the stolen lands and return with the stag lord's head. Ja. But I knew you could handle it. Wir haben nicht nur seinen Kopf, sondern wir haben auch seinen Helm, den haben wir nämlich auf unserem Kopf. Congratulations are in order. Today you'll receive the title of Baroness before the high society of Restov and even Natala Sertova personally. Ja. Bless her. Sister of King Noleski and one of the most influential politicians in Brevoy. Mhm. Also, für die Leute, die es noch nicht verstanden haben, worum es hier geht. Wir sollen dieses ungezähmte Land äh, untertan machen. Und zwar für die Aldori, die Germandi Aldori. Das ist eine äh, Swordlord, nennen sich die. Die haben früher hier, waren die die größten, großen Zampanos, aber dann sind die Surtovas gekommen und haben quasi das gesamte Land erobert und die Eldori ist quasi als Untertanen genommen. Und es gibt eine gewisse, sagen wir mal, Rivalität zwischen den beiden, weil die Eldoris, also die Swordlords, noch immer nicht akzeptiert haben, dass die Surtova sind. Und sie hofft, dass wir quasi, also das ist der Subtext von dem Ganzen, sie hofft, dass wir quasi äh, gehilfen sind in der Überschreibung von den Surtovas. Keine Ahnung. Ja, auf jeden Fall will sie uns halt unter Kontrolle haben. Wir werden noch ein wenig mit ihr in Konflikt kommen. Let me introduce you to Kassil Eldori. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. Mm, ja. Wir können uns einen von drei Typen aussuchen, den wir als Envoy mitnehmen. Er ist einer von denen. Das letzte Mal bin ich mit einem anderen gegangen. Das heißt, äh, den anderen werde ich nicht nehmen. Bei dem weiß ich außerdem schon, dass er uns betrügen wird. <lacht> also werde ich das lassen. Ähm, ja, den werde ich euch nachher auch noch zeigen. Aber sprechen wir mal kurz mit dem guten Kersil. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich ihn mitnehmen will, weil ich glaube, das sind gut. Ich glaube, die Surtovas sind böse, deswegen werde ich wahrscheinlich die Surtovatate mitnehmen. Jwendy, just what kind of game are you playing? I think I have the right to know. Yes, yes, you certainly have that right. But tell me, how well do you know Brevoy's history or the current political atmosphere? So viel wie da steht, weiß ich. Blah 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 blah. Brevoy, 
ist seit 4499 AR da. History is two often warring nations, Isia and Rostland. The coming of Coral the Conqueror changed all this. Ah ja, genau, genau. Isia sind die, uh, die Adeligen und Rostland sind die uh, Swordlords. Die haben miteinander gekämpft die ganze Zeit und dann sind die Corals gekommen und haben beide unterworfen. <lacht> Coral Christens his family house Rogavia. Its rule, a rule ended with the mysterious appearance of every member of house Rogavia in 4699, leaving Prevoy in a precarious political position. Okay, oder vielleicht auch nicht. What's now called Brevoy was originally two different countries, Rostland and Isia. 200 years ago, they were stuck in constant squabbles. Then, Coral the Conqueror showed up, and united the two seen. states into one. Such diplomatic tricks are easy to manage when you have dragons at your disposal. Okay, the this is Game of Thrones. The so-called houses of Brevoy, mainly Sertova, Orlovsky, and Lebeda, once ruled over Isia. We, the Aldori, ruled Rostland. The royal house Rogarvia, founded by Coral the Conqueror, forced us into obedience. But 200 years isn't long enough to make peace with such a troubled history. Mm -hmm. Even 2,000 years wouldn't be enough for us to accept Issian rule. Brevoy is a country held together by a thread. And that thread grows ever weaker. Okay, she has also these types. Die Sutovas, Orlovskis und Lebedas. Uh, what do I need to know about the current political We, atmosphere? The Aldori and the great noble houses spent 200 years under the rule of invaders. The royal house ja, ja, ja. Bla, 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 We bla. plotted, we schemed, we stabbed each other in the back. But open confrontation was out of the question. But a few years ago, House Rogarvia disappeared. No one knows how or why, but one day their manners were just empty, and the force that held Brevoy together, that kept us from a bloody feud, ceased to be. Okay, das heißt, sie wollen einfach wieder sich gegenseitig die gegen die Köpfe einschlagen. But their power pales in comparison to that of House Rogarvia when they were here. So now, Sertova and Aldori stand facing each other, staring each other in the eye, waiting for the other to draw mm -hmm. their sword. It's an untenable situation. No one wants a civil war that would drown Brevoy in blood. But peace between us is also out of the question. Okay, what do you from me? wants to regain its independence, and we will regain it. The power the Issians hold over us is humiliating and costly. And the Sertovas won't give us our freedom without a fight. That is, unless there is some external power that can force everyone to sit down and talk. Do you see where this is going? None. The stolen lands are disputed territory. Brevoy can't appropriate them without raising protests from each of the neighboring states. However, if some brave people were to found independent states on that land, it would be another matter entirely. My hope is that you and your future neighbors, Baron Hannes Drelev and Captain Mager Vaughn, will become Captain Mager Vaughn, we have another one. Even machen. your neutrality would introduce a powerful counterbalance to the aggression of the noble houses. Maybe, with your help, the inevitable division of Brevoy can occur without too much pain. Don't the Sword Lords have any other foreign allies capable of playing we this hope role? We to get some help from the Maivani Aldori, the descendants of the Sword Lords who have fled from Coral's rage to build a new nation in the south. But the Issians know this well, and are doing everything they can to deny us this help. I won't go into details, but if my intelligence is correct, if a civil war starts in Brevoy, Maivan will be too occupied with its own inner troubles to interfere. Mhm, das heißt, die Swordlords sind offensichtlich schlechte Herrscher, man sollte ihnen nicht helfen. Restoff is a free city, proud of its independence from everyone, including the Aldori Swordlords. But when it comes to Rostland's liberation, our goals align. This whole plan is our joint creation with Lord Mayor Josef Selenius. Mhm. 
If Natalia is already here, why did she let you grant me the title? Actually, she could still intervene and disrupt the proceedings. But she's a Sertova. Their games are always complex and multi-layered. They're always looking for ways to turn defeat into victory. If she's decided to allow you to become a Baroness, it means she already has some idea of how she can turn it to her benefit. Let's consider how she could do so. <laughs> Maybe she understands and... that Rostland will inevitably separate and she doesn't want a war. In that case, new states in the Stolen Lands give Eosians a reason to sit down and talk without losing face. But that's an optimistic view, and truth be told, it doesn't quite match up with what we've come to expect from the Sertovas. Ja, sie mögen sich also nicht. Das ist ein bisschen so wie in Nordirland. Da bringen sie sich auch noch immer gegenseitig um. Also, sie bringen sie nicht unbedingt gegenseitig um, aber... That might be enough to bring about our downfall. But you would fall first, and your newly formed states would be left in ruin. The Issians always like to have someone around to pull their chestnuts out of the fire for them. A piece of friendly advice? <laughs> Don't do business with House Sertovas, no matter what promises they make you. Any deal with the noble houses is a deal with devils. Yeah, whatever. How should I know? We're in the middle of a big game. And today, you move from being merely a piece on the board to being one of the players. Ja, klar. Ihr macht das sowieso alles, was äh, ihr wollt mit mir. Understanding of what's at stake. Don't think I'm trying to impose a nanny or a spy on you. We're neighbors now. You'll need someone knowledgeable about Brevois politics to act as an ambassador to your court. If you don't like Cassiel, you're free to choose someone else, but I won't be able to vouch for the loyalty or trustworthiness of another envoy. Mm -hmm. Und wer traut dir? You already know about my encounter. Of course. Keston gave me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs. <laughs> Especially that sly fox, Irovetti. Walk. Thank you, I'm going Enjoy to speak evening. with the guests. When you're ready for the official part, come to me. Mm -hmm. So, we müssen jetzt mit einem Haufen Leute reden. The heroine deserves the reward for her feat. The Baron's title, mingle with the guests. Naja, dann machen wir das doch gleich mal. Mega Wahn zum Beispiel. Mit dem werden wir später. Ich glaube, den könnten wir sogar gewinnen, dass er auf unseren Hof kommt dann im Endeffekt, weil der verliert seine Baronie. Company of Nobles, he is well built, but the expensive waistcoat he is wearing doesn't quite fit properly, as though it was borrowed. He has a few pale scars across his face. His dark hair is drawn into an unkempt ponytail with a few streaks of grey running through it. He greets you with a broad smile and a firm handshake. Let me introduce myself. I'm Megavon, the new ruler of Dunsward, your neighbor to the east. Like you, I'm about to be a baron. Great job with the stag lord, by the way. Not everyone could exterminate a whole gang of bandits with such a small team. Ha, wir sind einfach gut. Mm -hmm. Your title of Baron? Truth be told, my team and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Jamandi Eldori needed someone reliable to take and hold the territory. I'm the captain of a mercenary team, if that wasn't clear, bandling hosts. Have you heard of us? No? No matter. We've done work for Jamandi before. This time the task was simple. We just waltzed into the area, cleared it of the most brazen monsters and built a small fort and hauled the place. And for that, a barony and land to own. It was a dream job. <laughs> like a pheasant on a plate. I've killed all kinds of monsters, but this is the first time I've so strongly felt like turning away could get me eaten. <laughs> he 
not towards an arrogant man in the other corner of the room. See that lad? Baron Dralev. He's not like us. He knows what generation of Baron he is. Didn't even shake my hand. You and me, we're like dirt beneath his boots. That's why those like us. The newly made nobility need to stick together. Otherwise, he'd take my land and yours in the blink of an eye. Okay, it was nice meeting you. Farewell. Yeah, the other is Uncle Grantica. So, who's that? Guest, guest, ah, Kersten. Lindsay, Kersten. Hast du auch noch irgendwas zu sagen? Well, that's a true pick. Where else? Come. Okay. Lindsay, what's with you? Gar nix. Chandra Merway and Natala Sotova. Ah, da sind die Sotovas. Sprechen wir mal mit denen. Something with an unfamiliar old lady in a low voice. Upon noticing you, she breaks into a sugary sweet smile. Oh, die ist super. Die mag ich jetzt schon. Die wird so negativ dargestellt, dass ich, auf jeden Fall dass ich sie auf jeden Fall mag. You were not only tough, but quick. Well, congratulations on your victory. Enjoy it while you can. Is this a threat? What do you think awaits me? It was a pleasure meeting with you. Mm. Nothing good, I fear. The Eldori, our dearest friends, didn't deem it necessary to inform you of their plans, I assume. You see, they are preparing to separate from Brevoy. It will not be a peaceful process. They lack the strength currently, hence using this legal loophole to create some independent allies. Once the civil war breaks out, your lands will be the first to endure a strike from Brevoy's forces. Perhaps they'll erect a moral stone in independent rest of to honor you. Well, I wouldn't count on that on even that really. Is this a threat? I would never simply I simply wished to warn you in case you don't fully realize the fate that awaits you and your barony. <coughs> what would you propose? In your situation, the most reasonable course of action would be to, al to align yourself with the lawful rulers of Prevoy, the noble houses. The Eldori don't dare to rebel, knowing they will immediately become entrapped. You could help Prevoy avoid a civil war, while simultaneously enjoying some well-deserved peace in your lands. I believe Jamandi has already attempted to impose a guard on you as an emissary. I'm guessing her low-born stepson, the green-skinned boy, Cassil. It's up to you, of course, but I would recommend you a different envoy. Please meet Chandra Merve an experienced diplomat who is more familiar with Brevois politics than any brawler could be. Okay. Wow, die schaut cool aus. Die wollen wir, oder? The old woman standing next to Natala gives you a slight bow. I would be happy to help you establish diplomatic relations with Brevoy. Vielleicht ist sie wirklich besser als der andere Typ. Die schaut zwar grantig drein, aber Sie soll ja auch nicht, ich will sie auch nicht heiraten, also so gesehen. I'll consider your proposal. Think on it. Think on it. Do not make any hasty decisions. Okay, sprechen wir mit ihm auch. Ja. Sprechen nicht mit ihm. Joseph Selenius. Ah, das ist der Dings, das ist der. Um, wie heißt der? Der Castle Aldori. Das ist der Castle. Sprechen wir mit ihm mal, das ist der Bürgermeister von der Stadt, wo wir gerade sind. An older man with full sideburns looks at you with interest through a golden eyeglass. Well now, if it isn't the hero of the festivities, the protégé of our dear Jumandi. Ich bin mir nicht sicher. Also wie schon gesagt, ich mag die Jumandi auch nicht sonderlich. 
you pulled this all off quite cleverly I confess I wasn't convinced your enterprise would succeed I even bet a bottle of my best Pitaxian wine against you but I'm happy to admit I was wrong the Eldori have always been adept at finding new talents hmm. so it would seem I'm Joseph Salemius Lord Mayor of Restov, I rule this town and the adjacent land. As your northern neighbor, I hope we can look forward to a long and fruitful friendship. Ich bin zu müde schon. Ah, Provost politics seem complex and incomprehensible to many. Here in this part of Srosland, the spirit of northern freedom still lives. We are loyal to the throne. Of course, may the gods prolong the life of his highness. But here, far from the dominions of the great houses, we have our own way of life. It is especially important now, after the certain events that I probably don't need to name. Uh, welche events? The Eldori sword lords used to rule Rostland. They are still the largest landowners and, ma the and main military force in the region. But it's not for nothing that Rostov is called a free city. We are proud to choose the Lord Mayor from among the citizens, considered not by their lineage, but by their own merits. What kind of events were you talking about? Gute Frage. Why an aspiring politician needs to be well informed. I'm talking, of course, of the disappearance of the ruling house of Rogavia. Okay, good, that's what we already heard. Sh Can you imagine it? Old man Coral conquered our land two centuries ago. It would be a shameless lie to say that nobody wished his royal house could just disappear into thin air. But once that exact thing happened, turned out nobody was ready for it. Ja, das heißt, es war wahrscheinlich niemand dahinter. Poof. All over the country, every member of the royal house disappeared without a trace. Nobody knows what happened. It's a mystery. But a mystery pregnant with opportunity for everyone. I don't want to boast, but things have been going well in recent years. Trade prospers, the population grows, and the citizens are happy. Although recently, especially after the disappearance of House Rogavia, more and more troublemakers have been appearing, and people are talking about the most shocking things. But those sorts of rumors aren't worthy of your attention. Ja klar. Diese most shocking things haben möglicherweise nichts mit meinem Ehe, mit meinem zukünftigen Land zu tun. Please wait a moment. Your young barony will need resources to establish itself, and from what I've been told, you are somewhat in need of financial assistance. I could organize and supply everything you need for the construction and spread out the costs on extremely favorable terms. I could immediately procure, let's say, 500 catloads of building supplies. I'm sure that would give you a good start. In exchange, I would ask a small favor until you repay the, the debt in full. You simply assume the obligation of contracting building services through rest of Builders Guild. Do we have a deal? Das ist eine gute Frage, ob wir das jetzt annehmen sollen. Vom letzten Mal weiß ich, wir kriegen zwar 500 Building Points, müssen dann aber glaube ich 10% mehr für alle Gebäude zahlen. Da stellt sich natürlich die Frage, wie viel wir für ein Gebäude bauen. Ich habe dann letztens einfach praktisch keine Gebäude gebaut, was aber auch nicht so schlecht war, weil ich dann die Punkte für Projekte verwenden konnte, die ich sonst vielleicht hätte nicht machen können. Ähm... Ich glaube, ich nehme es nicht an. It's your choice, of course. I just figured I'd mention it. I'll probably accept your offer in the end. 
Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Goodbye. Can we with him noch reden? Okay. Es war Kick Cake. Der sagt mir gar nichts. Habe ich den letztens gesehen? A handsome man with a weather beaten face grasps your hand tightly in his rough, calloused palms. Unlike the rest of the guests in their festive clothes, he wears a simple robe. The only luxury you see on his hi on him is a holy symbol of Aristil made of solid gold. Ach, schon wieder Aristil. Aristil ist ein guter Gott, nehme ich mal an, gell? Ah, ja, das ist der Gott mit dem Hirschhelm. Uh, the other guests look at him with respect, some bordering and on awe. Congratulations on your victory, he says in a deep voice. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Eswan Kikek, High Priest of Erastil in Restov. Origin check past. I saw how you fought beside Jamendi that night. Your god granted you impressive power. Yes, I used to serve Erastil on the battlefield. But those days are long past. Now I call on this on his power to heal those who've fallen from a roof more often than anyone wounded by a sword. Of course, someone has to roam the forests and slay monsters, but I'm more useful to my congregation here, attending to more mundane affairs, like hospitals, shelters and charity fairs. Do many people in the rest of Venerate arrest still? There are really many gods in the rest of they pray to Abadar, patron of cities, and Ferasma, gatherer of souls. There are also some more rare cults, but there's no denying that the stag god has the largest congregation here. And no wonder, people here have lived for farming and hunting for centuries. Bringing law into the stolen lands is a difficult endeavor. I would be grateful for any help of you you could spare. Habe ich einen guten Diplomacy Wert 6 nur? Ugh, das ist schwierig. Aber wir succeed. This is a truly noble undertaking. I believe you, our community will be able to provide you with reasonable assistance. We will help you construct a shrine in your capital, free of charge. Das finde ich gut. Schreine sind gut. The corners of the priest's mouth turn up in a faint smile. The nobles dress in silks and satins to stand out from the poor. A priest wears a simple robe to stand out from the nobles. <laughs> sehr gut, sehr gut. It was an honor to meet you. Goodbye. Na, immerhin haben wir einen, einen gratis Temple gekriegt. So, die Herrschaften an dieser Stelle werde ich für YouTube kurz auf, aufhören, weil ich möchte mal was, kurz was zum Hapa Hapa holen, weil es ist spät abends und ich habe irgendwie Hunger noch. Und auf dem Stream ist sowieso keiner, also so gesehen passt das schon. Und die halbe Stunde ist sicher schon fast vorbei. Okay, ich wünsche euch einen schönen Abend, schlaft gut und träumt was Schönes und wir sehen uns hoffentlich bald wieder. Bis dann! <lacht>